going to show you inside the Benedictus and each month it comes with a matching prayer card that's actually pretty sturdy and it changes each month and I'm just going to show you inside several of the features it has um, so it can help you decide whether you would benefit from investing in a missile or maybe you already have a missile um, and it also has daily uh, meditations and prayers so just depending on your needs so one of the first things that I like about it is every month there's the virtue of the month and it'll have like a quote from scripture and then a quote from a saint and I find it really useful and my family usually every month uh, will choose a virtue of the month and sometimes we'll go with these ones or if there's a more pressing need <laughs> to grow in a certain virtue uh, we'll choose a different one and then there's this area called select prayers and so it'll have English and Latin side by side and what I like is that they're both the same font size so the Latin is not smaller which sometimes that's the case so if you're trying to learn prayers in Latin it's really helpful also has usually um, like a theme for the month like a major feast it'll just talk about it and it's called the apostolic encouragement and then here are the the prayers in Latin and English side by side the Hail Mary glory be guardian angel prayer morning salutation then there's the act of faith hope and love act of contrition act of spiritual communion then for this month there's this uh, devotions to saint joseph so novena prayer and an act of consecration um, and then it also includes like the missile would include prayers before and after communion so these are the ones for after communion and then they list 11 means to obtain true devotion to Our Lady by Father Lassance. I have mentioned him in another video. Um, I have one of his books. It's called My Prayer Book. And here's the Angelus, Latin and English side by side. Then prayer before any work and prayer after work. So I really like this as a mom, but also for my children as students, you know, before they do their homework. And prayer for protection, prayer of oblation. And then they have this really nice daily examine. And so it goes in five steps. And it's from the book, Rooting Out Hidden Faults. It is a book that was out of print, but Sophia Press just got it back into print in 2021. And it goes through the five wounds of our Lord and each one's tied with first Thanksgiving, petition, examination, atonement, and a resolution and before an image of Christ crucified. So that's really nice. And then I really like that it has the seasonal antiphon because in a recent video I was sharing that uh, we started the practice of singing the seasonal antiphon after our night prayers just so that it can help us uh, re memorize them. And uh, practice definitely makes perfect and it's really fun. And my children enjoy it even down to my nine month old. It's so cute to hear them singing. And then These are the prayers uh, said after low mass. So the three Hail Marys and the Hail Holy Queen and the St. Michael prayer. Here is like just like an extra thrown in. So they'll have these, they call them like living tradition or different things. Um, just something to reflect on. And some, some art. And then the first of the month for March this year fell on a Wednesday. So then this will have first a morning devotion. So every day of the week will have a morning devotion. The weekdays, then they list all the propers. And then at, at the end of each day, they'll have a daily meditation and then an evening devotion. So it can be really useful uh, for just like some daily reflections and spiritual reading and then um, those evening prayers and I also showed you that then they have a morning devotion for each day and for every day of the week they have the propers for the mass and then I'm going to skip to a Sunday so you can see 
that will be more like following along for mass with a missal. So then here it's a Sunday, but then it'll have like this gold edge and it has that morning devotion. And then here are the parts for the mass and it'll have the different parts. They have like the little gray boxes and then what the priest says, what the altar servers say, Latin and English side by side. And there's the confit here. And here's the readings and the gold boxes. So what's nice is you don't have to be flipping back and forth like you would in a missal. So if you're like trying to hold it with one hand and then maybe you need to close it for a second, like, I mean, it's, it's pretty easy and convenient. And like, here's the gospel, the creed, they're both the same size. So it's really good for following along. For Sanctus, it's the symbols with the three bells. So I just really like it, and there's a lot of like extra things thrown in there too. So let me show you a few more of those daily meditations. So there's another daily meditation for Sunday. And so for every single day, there will be one. And then I'll skip to the end. Just to show you and then they have this area classic catechesis so it's from the catechism of the council of trent and so that's like a really nice bonus there then they have like the end notes and i like this index for all the meditations so if you want to dive deeper with any of them you have the references right here you know, it's all from traditional Catholic sources and even the page numbers. I think that is really great that they include that. Very useful. There's the Benedictus prayer and the Magnificat. And they change also like the different meditations and things every year. Uh, so since I've had this for over a year, the ones for March of last year, were different than the ones for March of this year. So you don't have to worry of like, oh, I've already had it for over a year. Now it's going to kind of be repeating the same daily meditations. No, it's going to be different. And so I just have been really enjoying it. And um, so I hope that's helpful for you uh, for making your decision.